Welcome to Season 2 of the To Health With That podcast, where we break up big health topics into small bites. I'm Amy, and this season I'll share all the tips, tricks, and hacks you need to get healthy with an MTHFR mutation in a step-by-step, week-by-week process. I can't wait. This week, Let's talk about the flip side of last week's MAOA coin. So this week it's MAOA Fast and the Carbohydrate Roller Coaster. So as we mentioned before, MAOA is an enzyme that has the power to determine a lot of who you are, and the gene SNPs that change its activity have additive effects, just like the COMT gene SNP that we spoke about previously. The various SNPs add up to give you either a fast or slow picture. MAOA stands for monoamine oxidase A, and it's a breakdown pathway for your MAO neurotransmitters, which means serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. Unfortunately, those three little things, serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine, determine so much of how you feel and act in the world. An interesting aside about the MAOA gene that we mentioned last week as well. Most of the gene SNPs we talk about are linked to regular chromosome pairs, meaning there's two functional copies of each one. The MAOA gene is X-linked, meaning that it sits on the X chromosome or chromosomes that are responsible for physiological gender determination. So men have an X and a Y chromosome. Therefore, men have only one copy of the MAOA gene, and women have two Xs, and so they have two copies of the MAOA gene, but one of them is completely silent. On women's genetic tests, there's no way to tell which copy of the MAOA gene is actually active and which one is silent, so symptoms really are the best place to look. Having a fast MAOA means the breakdown of neurotransmitters is faster than average. Therefore, levels of neurotransmitters are lower than they would be in a person with wild-type genetics. Low neurotransmitters is a challenge that people tend to self-medicate. In this particular case, the easiest and most available self-medication is food. Carbohydrates, to be specific. So carbohydrate foods are an amazing short-term boost to neurotransmitters, especially serotonin. But it really is very short-lived, and sadly, this method fails spectacularly in the long run. The carbohydrate roller coaster is a pretty familiar place for a lot of people. You feel a little down, you're having a bad day, maybe hopeless, possibly just even bored. You know you shouldn't reach for a cake or chocolate bar, but it's like you can't help yourself. You eat the Twinkie and you feel a burst of goodwill and hopefulness that pretty soon transitions into guilt for packing another Twinkie into the saddlebags. Your mood gets darker and soon enough you're reaching for a ho-ho to ease the pain. You might even wake up in the middle of the night and need to snack to fall back to sleep. So I'm exaggerating for comic effect, and mostly I just wanted an excuse to say Twinkie and Ho-Ho, but surely some of you out there recognize this all-too-painful cycle. It is an easy reality to fall into with a fast MAOA picture and a really normal one, right? No shame in this. This is how your body learns to cope. And it's literally the best way if you don't know what's going on internally. But the good news, if you know it's MAOA, then we can give you some tools to get rid of this cycle for good. So there are things you can do to balance a fast MAOA. One of the key factors is helping your psychology and physiology stay balanced. There's a number of things that can help you to do that. So first off, balanced B vitamins. So for a slow MAOA, we talked about how important riboflavin is. But for a fast MAOA, we want to make sure that you're getting all of the Bs, but not too much riboflavin, which will make your enzyme even faster and more efficient. Complex carbs and protein. So instead of reaching for the starches and sugars and going on that roller coaster we spoke about earlier, the most important thing, and this is truly the most important thing for MAOA, is to get three regular meals that are high in complex carbs and protein, right? This stabilizes blood sugars and neurotransmitters. 
This type of carbs, which is like whole grains, lots of fiber, digest very slowly, and so they keep a steady stream of serotonin coming rather than the peaks and valleys that the quick carbs produce. Remove some stressors, right? Stress isn't necessarily your friend with any MAOA issue. Life has lots of stressors, but so many of them are self-imposed, right? Let go of the food sensitivities, the blood sugar ups and downs, the toxic friends, extra jobs and tasks that you've picked up that you don't really need to be there. Do a stress edit on your life. Boost your glutathione. So we've talked for ages about glutathione. So check out Season 1, Episode 14, MTHFR and Glutathione, or Season 2, Episode 32, Glutathione Review. Glutathione does help to decrease inflammation globally and reduce some of the negative side effects of burning through neurotransmitters either too quickly or too slowly. Eliminate your food sensitivities. So I mentioned this before in getting rid of stressors, but eating foods that your body is sensitive to raises your inflammation, which in turn drives your body to make more stress hormones and pushes the peaks and valleys of your neurotransmitter levels even higher and lower. That's not what we want. Meditate. Again, meditation is one of the most effective non-drug methods of balancing neurotransmitters with any kind of gene SNP. That includes MAOA, but it's not limited to, right? This is useful for everybody. Even something as simple as three minutes of mindfulness meditation every day can have huge results over time. And I'm not kidding, three minutes, right? Like anybody can commit to that. Watch your warning signs. So with a fast MAOA, you know you're not keeping the right dietary balance when you're waking up in the middle of the night hungry or when your emotions are pushing you to the pantry for that sweet treat. If you see these warning signs, make sure that your next meal has plenty of complex carbs, a moderate amount of protein, and good fats to feed your neurotransmitters. And probably have that meal right now, right? Don't go for the sugar. Also, boost your tryptophan intake. So tryptophan is the precursor to serotonin and melatonin, and the tryptophan that crosses into your brain most easily is found in complex carb-heavy food. So keep snacks with a good balance of complex carbs and protein at hand to stabilize your blood sugars and give you a steady flow of tryptophan. Think of things like yogurt, oatmeal, nuts and seeds, or some turkey slices rolled in iceberg lettuce. Easy peasy. That's it for MAOA Fast, but thank you so much for listening. And great news this week. The beta test group for MTHFR for Life is going to start in early July, and enrollment is secretly open right now. But I won't advertise that to anybody but my listeners for a week so that you have a chance to get in. The beta test version is 75% off the regular price. Plus, if you enroll in the free MTHFR Basics course, you'll get a coupon for additional savings, even off the 75% off price. So the beta test is going to be once only, right? This only happens once. I only need to test it once. And then it's done. There are only 100 slots, so get in now. Can't wait to see you there.